Montpellier had two wins from the last seven matches, a run which saw them start week 12 of the Ligue 1 Uber Eats in 13th place with 13 points. They welcome Nantes to the south of France, who had two wins from the last three and who were also unbeaten during that run. Antoine Comboire's men had turned around a difficult start to the season to now sit seventh in the standings with an opportunity to move into the top three if other results went their way. Montpellier were winless in their last four against the Canaries. Their last home win against them came in November 2015. Pereira Dassa hit the post early on in the match. Omelin watching on as the Frenchman, after Girotto's effort had been blocked, just striking the post. It was never really going to trouble the goalkeeper who was able to just watch it go wide eventually. Pereira de Sa once again involved. This time his shot did go wide. Omelin seemed to have that covered once again, however. It was then Albon Lafon's turn to showcase his skills in the not goal. Teji Savagné with a free kick from distance and Lafon had to be careful not to push that one back into the path of a Montpellier player. Job done. Olivier Dalleolio watching on. The Montpellier manager who asked his team for a little bit more intensity in the second 45 minutes. But Montpellier were almost caught on the break by Nantes. Colomwani denied by an excellent Umlin save. Bella Germain then made way for Eli Wahi. And the substitution seemed to breathe new life into the Montpellier team. Teji Savagné driving once again from midfield with that wicked right boot of his, which was denied by Lafont, but Molle there to turn in the rebound and open the score for Montpellier. Two of the club's longest and most loyal servants combining to get that all-important goal and break the deadlock. A little bit of a deflection on Mullet's shot, which takes it away from Lafont, who didn't set his feet quick enough. Steffi Mavididi then had a brilliant opportunity, but he was denied by Lafont at his front post. Not pushing for an equaliser, were then caught on the counter attack. Mollet playing it forwards, and a brilliant pass by Ferry. And Eli Wahi there to score the second goal for Montpellier and to confirm the three points for Olivier Dalolio's side. Good ball through, slipped by Lafont. And Wahi there to calmly stroke it into the back of the net. Two nil and game over. The score could have been even harsher for Nantes as Teji Savagné hit the crossbar from that free kick. Really huge opportunity for Savagné, who certainly put in another standout performance for Montpellier. They put an end to Nantes' unbeaten run in the league and closed the gap with their opponents to just one point. Nantes stay in the top half of the standings.